Backyards is a show about us cooking sandwiches in the backyard with a old broken down grill. We're gonna be using this grill here. It works. Hey, cheers. Cheers. Backyard grilling, man. Backyard grilling. Oh, that's too much. Well, when I'm creating a sandwich, it's such a deep experience. You if can't I really through. make a good sandwich unless there's some Ooh. level of suffering involved. So what happens when you're backyard grilling, though? I don't know if it's the champagne talking, but I love you, man. Backyard. Wait, what the fuck is the name of the show again? Backyard Bites. When you spend enough time in the backyard, you become the backyard. Before we decide what sandwich to make, I always like to sort of eat other sandwiches. I was drunk when I got them. Oh. Stella's 24 hours, but I got them last night, so the sandwich has been sitting out for 24 hours. This is like a sausage parm with peppers and onions. I asked for buffalo chicken, but it looks like uh, turkey. I'm starting to get the juice of the creative like juice flowing. You, like, you gotta have good bread. That's the first thing for any good sandwich. Everybody knows that. Unless you're Absolutely. Powerless. I'm a big uh, French baguette guy myself. No, you don't let you, I embarrass you just now. It's like, a bread, it's obviously better than a baguette. Well, what's yeah. some, I don't even think I know what semolina bread it's is. Like the yellow Italian bread, it's fucking fantastic. Yellow bread? Yeah, yellow bread. Have you returned return a sandwich Oh, I've returned a sandwich. Oh, if they put shredded lettuce on my sandwich, it's going back. <laughs> going back every single so time. No even if it's delivered, I'm calling back, the guy's coming back, get my sandwich, bring me a new one. No veggies on the no sandwich. No fucking veggies. Well, some veggies, like no. the ones that taste, that have a taste, not fucking bullshit. Lettuce, tomato. <laughs> well, what tastes good? What's a, what's a peppers, good sandwich? Like I think roasted, lettuce... roasted fucking peppers. Roasted peppers. Roasted peppers tastes good. I feel like a sandwich is coming. Maybe some some semolina bread. Did I say yeah, it right? Yeah, the, semolina the, the bread. yellow yeah, bread. Yeah, the yellow Italian bread. Let's tie this together with something because I feel like we're missing a key ingredient here. The champagne. How are you supposed to make sandwiches without drinking champagne while you do it? I really don't know. Bang. Bang. Backyard bites. Cheers. To a good Saturday. And what kind of sandwich do we decide we're gonna make? Well, we're gonna make a grilled chicken, roasted peppers, and yeah. an Italian classic. What would you call uh, a sandwich like that? Like the poop. The poop. Yeah. We'll call it the poop. We're gonna show how to marinate the chicken first. So majority. Yeah. Extra virgin olive oil. Right. Italian seasoning. Sprinkle as much as you want. Ground pepper. Look at that with the grinder. You always gotta add the fucking garlic. It's Italian food. The secret ingredient is you always gotta add the fucking garlic. Salt, Italian food. Salt, pepper. Yep. And red wine vinegar. Okay. Keep the flies away. Sip? No, I don't want to sip. I'm not a psycho. Sit it all up. Mm -hmm. It's like Italian dressing. It looks right? like Italian dressing. I mean, who knew? You could bottle that and sell it. Italian dressing. Take chicken in a plastic bag. You let that sit overnight. And then you get this. Marinated chicken. Hey. Okay. So we're gonna start with uh, roasting the peppers though, because that shit takes the longest. No dented peppers. No, dented, no, no GMO peppers. No, no GMO, organic <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> Bang. Close them up. And that's it, that's how you no, roast peppers. Roast for a while. Dude, then you sip champagne, and wait. You sip champagne, smoke some weed. <laughs> All right, I'm thinking the peppers are about done. The big reveal. Right, what you gotta do, you gotta make sure the skin is almost falling off, you know? So, you take the peppers, throw them in a bowl, and you use your hands too. Make sure you use your hands. Make sure you almost burn your hands. You gotta burn your hands. Yeah, it's not backyard right. grilling if you don't burn your hands. <laughs> They're not done yet. They gotta they gotta steam for a little bit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they let that steam up in there for a little bit. You let them cool off. The skin gets it starts coming off the pepper. It comes Wait. off really easy. You can just okay. kind of do that to them. Okay. They're hot as a motherfucker. Actually. That looked, that looked hot. All right. So yeah. what you gotta do is yeah. just start peeling the fuck out of it. You want me to grab scared. one? Just yeah, start yeah. Peeling just it? start peeling it. Okay. I'm going for it. They're really hot. I'm not like you. I don't know how that doesn't burn and like that burns like crazy for me. For, ow! That, does, that really doesn't hurt you? That hurts. It's like really hot. What you gotta do? <laughs> you rinse your hands open the water. You never want to dip the pepper in the water. All the flavor comes out. Doing my best. I feel like I'm not doing it like you because, uh, you know, I feel pain or whatever. Oh, God damn it. That was hot. Yeah, it's Woo! not fucking easy. It's, it is fucking hot. Wow, they smell so good though. It almost makes yep. the pain worth it. They smell incredible. Next step, you gotta get all the seeds out. Okay, no seeds. So you just kind of... We know about that life. No stems, no seeds, no, no stems, sticks. No know seeds. what I'm saying? You, you pick out the seeds and stems. Lay them out. Roast them out. Look at me, Ma. Perfect. Wow. Throw our marinated chicken. Yeah. Marinated for a day. You need at least 24 hours to let it soak, man. Yeah, you got it. To ref for the chicken to reflect on what really, it's about really... to do. What will it be like when I enter the grill? These are going to grill up real quick. You don't want to leave them on there too long. They're nice, thin slices. Ah, oh, that already smells good. You can't smell it, but it, picture something that smells really, really good. That's what it smells like. 
I want to get all that garlic out of it so I can marinate it okay. all over the chicken. Yeah, right. You know, I'd like to make a toast. It's a chicken. Pop bottles, growing chicken. This is pretty good for not real champagne. Bang. Yeah, yeah like Bob Dylan said it, whatever. <laughs> you did it, in the backyard. You got to know when to flee. It wasn't the cheap bottle. Doesn't look cheap. Don't yeah. buy the cheap bottle. You know my philosophy. When you go grocery shopping, right. spend the extra ten bucks. Don't use coupons. Don't get use the it. bullshit. Get the good stuff. Yeah. Don't don't even ever look at a coupon. If you got three kids and no money, <laughs> clip your fucking coupons. <laughs> you got no kids, buy the expensive chicken. <laughs> buy the organic chicken. It actually tastes better. Yeah. Right, right on the grill. Hands right on the grill. No problem. All right, this chicken's about ready to get pulled off. You want to grab a plate real quick? Yeah. I'll grab a plate. The fine china, baby. The fine china. <laughs> you know what they say about the environment? It's over. Oh, you want to man the grill for a minute? I'm gonna go wash my hands. Sure. Th this is me manning the grill. Ah. Ah. <laughs> yeah! The circle is complete! <laughs> Are you having a good time? Yeah, yeah, you're having, we're all having a good time. Tomorrow, not gonna be so great. But today, not so bad. Hey, yeah. there he is. Have you moved anything <laughs> while you watch the grill? Look! Are you already gone for two seconds? You're the cook, man. I'm almost done with my bottle. Quite the feeling at 11.30 in the morning. What a time is it? Let's look at the amount of seasoning that's stuck to that. Marinade. It does look fucking delicious. That is yeah. real chicken. That's that's ready to get pulled off right there. I cannot stress this enough. Thick. You have to have thick, fresh cheese. Don't fuck around. Don't get the brick. And if, if you don't live in New Jersey or New York, this isn't that easy to get. But you can go on the internet and Let's get find it. Find some Italian people. They got it. Now you take the salt, make a ramp. Be generous with the salt. And the semolina bread. Yep. The I semolina bread. This now this is what you call the yellow bread. Of Let's see that inside of that bread. Mellow yellow, baby. Good Look at semolina that. bread. Soft as a motherfucker. Hard outside. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, this is smell vision. Look at that. Huh. I'm like my heart's racing because this is so exciting. Look at that. Sure yeah. that chicken's in there. Good. Give it a hug. Back up. Give it a hug. Wow. Wow. That looks really fucking good. Holy shit. Holy hell. Oh my god. Fresh months. Kind of break up the mozzarella. I as might you throw finish it on my there. bottle of champagne just while you're doing it. Make sure it can close up. I'm gonna throw this back on the grill for a little bit. Thanks. <laughs> and this right here is the finished product, the Italian boot. And this is what you want your finished product to look like. Over the roasted peppers on the freshest mozzarella you can get. Yeah, celebrate. Ooh! Huh? Good? Mm. Fantastic. The peppers are sweet. It's fucking fire. It's fucking fire. Come on, dude. Get your backyard right. Get your backyard right. <laughs> Get your backyard right. <laughs>